Welcome to Math 98, this is section 6.6. .6. We are going to talk about dividing polynomials. So we've done some division last time, where it was just a monomial over a monomial. Like there were no pluses or subtraction going on there. And one of the basic things I want us to think about is the relationship between this, where we have a common denominator, and how we can put that together and say that's the same as this. So notice when we see something like y plus 7 divided by 3, that addition, both the y and the 7 are being divided by the 3. That is very different than 7 times y divided by 3, because in this case, 7y is multiplied together. It's being divided by 3. In this case, both of those pieces are divided by the 3. The different things. So when we have addition subtraction going on in here, uh, we've got to think about it a little differently. So let me think about something like this. So 8y squared plus 80 divided by 8. Notice we have that addition and separating out those two terms. This is a binomial, right? Two terms, a term here and a two term here. Both of these pieces are being divided by that 8. So if I think about, uh, you don't have to write it out this way, but it's the same as this. So if I divide this 8y squared by 8, 8 divided by 8 is 1, leaving me y squared, plus 80 divided by 8 is 10. Similarly here, with that subtraction that's in there, both of these uh, terms are being divided by 9. So 18a squared, 18 divided by 9 is 2, 2a squared minus 27 divided by 9, 3. So sometimes we'll write uh, division with the division sign. And notice in both of these cases, we're using these parentheses too. So the parentheses are grouping, right? They're, they're grouping these two terms together. So this whole thing is being divided by 6x. This whole thing is the, being divided by that whole thing, 5y uh, cubed. We're a little loose on this. I'll write that as well, because uh, it is the same thing. Let me write it this way, so we're familiar with the uh, notation going back and forth between them. Both are saying the same thing. These are equivalent statements. Uh, I want to say something I said last time. Fractions are just division, and you can see it in the division sign, right? This first thing, boop, divided by that second thing. Right, this first thing divided by that second thing. So both of these pieces here are divided by 6x. So 18x cubed over 6x, 18 divided by 6 is 3, x cubed divided by x is x squared, minus 60x squared divided by 6. So 60 divided by 6 is 10, x squared divided by x is x. There's that one. We're thinking here, uh, both of these pieces separated by addition or subtraction are divided by that bottom. So 55 divided by five is 11. Y squared divided by Y cubed, look at where the weight is, the weight's in the denominator. So this is 11 over Y minus 25 divided by five, that's five. And again, Y, this is Y to the first, just simply Y. Um, y divided by Y cubed, that leaves me some Y squared in the denominator. So there is that one. All right, how about this? Uh, this whole thing minus that whole thing divided by this other thing. Okay, one piece at a time. Um, this is a negative 6, so we're dividing by a negative. So 66 divided by negative 6 is negative 11. Uh, x to the fifth divided by x cubed is x squared. y divided by y is 1. Okay. Negative 12 divided by negative 6 is positive 2. This would be plus 2. X to the seventh divided by X cubed is X to the fourth. Uh, y cubed divided by Y leaves me a Y squared. And there is uh, that division right there. All right, now I've got three terms. I've got a trinomial up top in that numerator. And the, each of these pieces are divided by that 5Z. So let's see, 10Z squared divided by 5Z. Uh, I love saying 5Z. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Z squared divided by Z is Z minus 5z divided by 5z is 1, minus 2 divided by 5z. Well, that's I can't simplify that anymore, so I'm just going to leave this as 2 divided by 5z. 
uh, fractions are division left undone, right? It's showing that we're doing some division, but we're just gonna say that's as far as we can go. So this is equivalent to that after we do that division. So let's take a look at something that is a little different. So this is divided by that. So we can write it this way. We could also write it this way. And notice that like that whole M plus four is dividing this whole thing. So this idea of like a little piece going into a little piece uh, doesn't, doesn't quite work here. But this M plus four, since there's two of them, I can think of it going into these two and going into these two. And so here's a technique for doing this. We're gonna do what's called long division. So the thing I'm dividing into, I'm gonna write out, put it inside this division piece, and the thing I'm dividing by, I'm gonna put it out here. And this is a technique, and I'm just gonna show you the steps for this technique. So really, I'm gonna look at the first term and the first term, and everything else is just gonna kinda of come along for the ride. So I'm gonna look at the M and the M squared. I'm gonna say, M, how many times is M going to M squared? M times. In other words, I'm gonna think of a term that if I go M times M, it gives me that. So now that I've, now that I've done that, uh, I'm gonna multiply this whole thing by that M. So M times M is M squared. M times four is four M. And now what I'm gonna do is uh, subtract. So I'm gonna to subtract to this whole thing. And so m squared minus m squared is zero. That always happens. This first term um, is always gonna drop out. And then I have 9m minus 4m. 9n minus 4m is 5m, so that's good. And then I bring down the next term, plus 20. And then I do this thing again. And I just keep doing it till I run out of uh, options to do it. So m goes into 5m. Again, I'm looking for something up here that if I multiply it by m, it matches that. And my answer is 5. Just get that out of the way. So now I'm going to take just this 5 and multiply it by m plus 4. So 5 times m is 5m. 5 times 4 is 20. Oh, look at that. And again, I'm going to subtract it. 5m minus 5m is 0. 20 minus 20 is 0. I have a remainder of 0. So I've got... Uh, m plus 5. So this divided by m plus 4 is m plus 5. That means if I were to go m plus 4 times m plus 5, I would get that back, which hopefully you can, uh, you can think about multiplying that out and how you would get that. So let's do an, another example like that with, um, with this example right here. So I'm going to set it up. So my a minus 6 is going into my 3a squared minus 16a minus 12, so a piece at a time. So again, I'm just going to focus on those first terms. So I've got an a. I want it to be a 3a squared, so I'm going to multiply by 3a. And again, I'm just trying to get it to match that term. So 3a is going to get multiplied by that whole thing. 3a times a, 3a squared, that's what I wanted to happen. 3a times negative 6, negative 18a. And now we're subtracting here, so be careful with your, with your subtracting. Remember, we're distributing that since we're distracting, uh, sorry, since we're subtracting the whole thing, that negative is going to get distributed into there. So 3a minus 3a is 0. We wanted that to happen. Negative 16a minus a negative 18a, that's the same as plus 18a, is 2a. And then bring down the next thing negative 12, do it again. A goes into 2A two times. Multiply this whole thing by that 2, 2A two minus 12, and you can see that that's going to subtract out to a 0. So there's our answer, 3A plus 2. We have a remainder of 0. So it goes into it evenly. In other words, this times that would give me that back. So here's a few more for us. Uh, this whole thing is divided by that whole thing. So let's set it up. Plus one is going to go into all of this. And so one piece at a time, x goes into x cubed x squared times. x squared times this whole thing gives us x cubed uh, plus x squared. 
And again, we're gonna subtract that whole thing. So be careful with your subtraction. Uh, x cubed minus x cubed is zero by design. Negative x squared minus x squared is negative two x squared. Again, remember to distribute that into there, that negative. Bring down the next term, do it again. So x, just the first piece here, going into negative two x squared would give me negative two x. So negative two x times x, negative two x squared, negative two x times one, uh, negative two x. And we're gonna subtract that whole thing. So again, distribute that negative into there. Negative two x squared minus negative two x squared is zero by design. X minus negative two X, so that's a positive two X is three X. Bring down the next piece. I'm just gonna keep going until we run out of pieces. So X into three X is three times. Three times X plus one is three X plus three. Do some subtraction, beep, bop, boop. Uh, three X minus three X is zero. Uh, by design, I'll just keep saying that. Uh, four minus three is one. Oh man, we have a remainder of one. So um, what we don't do is we don't write remainder one, um, although it is a remainder of one. But notice like this whole thing is being divided by x plus one. So that one is still being divided by x plus one, but we're not, we can't go any further with it. So division undone, we're gonna write this as plus, one still being divided by x plus one. And that is our answer to that division. And notice when we were doing this, like the x cubes lined up, the x squareds lined up, the x's lined up. It's really nice, you have this kind of like place. So as I look at this next one to start, set, uh, to start setting it, it up, x plus five is gonna go into, I've got one x to the fourth, I've got negative three x cubed, but notice I don't have any x squareds. So I'm gonna have a placeholder here, plus zero x squareds. I don't have any x's, I'm gonna have a placeholder for x's, and then I have minus a thousand. I'm gonna need these placeholders. Uh, I mean, I could do it without them, but they really make the job a lot, a lot easier. Well, let's go ahead and go on our way, see what we got. So x, x to the fourth, I need an x cubed. Both these things multiply by x cubed, x to the fourth plus five x cubed, and I'm gonna subtract. So as I subtract that, x to the fourth minus x to the fourth, zero. Be careful, negative three x cubed minus five x cubed is negative eight x cubed, and bring down your zero x squared. All right, so x, negative eight x cubed, again, I'm just looking at those first terms there. I think I need a negative eight x squared. So negative x, negative eight x squared times x, negative eight x cubed, that's good. Negative eight x squared times five, negative 40. And I'm gonna subtract the whole thing. Uh, that's a zero. And be careful with your subtraction, subtracting a negative, that's a zero. Subtracting a negative gives us a positive 40 x squared. Bring down the next thing. See how that zero x squared held the place for that. So again, it's just a placeholder. It makes it so everything lines up nicely for us. X, we need a 40X squared. So let's add 40X. And notice I'm writing these above, like the cubes above the cube, the squares above the squared. It just helps everything be nice and neat. 40X times X, 40X squared. 40X times five. Let's see, 40 times five is what, 200? 200X. And we're going to subtract. So 40x minus 40x is 0. 0 minus 200x is negative 200x. Bring down our negative 1,000. And let's see. Uh, we want that x to match that. So we're going to need to multiply. Negative 200 times x is negative 200x. Negative 200 times 5 whoa, is negative 1,000. Beautiful. And when we subtract that, we get a zero, so that went into it evenly, and there is the answer for that. One more example. So I can tell I'm gonna have, need some placeholders here. I've got a five X minus two. That's gonna go into 125 X cubed. 
And so let's see, 5x into 125 goes uh, 25 times. So let me multiply uh, this one into here. Negative 2 times um, 25x squared is negative. And if I want to subtract, that goes to 0. Subtract a negative is positive. Down the next one. 5 into 50x. 5 is 50. 10 times negative 2 is negative 20. Subtract, 0. Subtract a negative gives me a positive. And 5x goes into 20x, what, 4 times? So plus 4. 4 gets multiplied by both of these. 20x minus 8. No remainder again when I subtract that whole thing. And there's my answer. Hey, give those questions um, a try from this section. And send any um, questions that you have to me. You can message me or put them in the forum.